just wanted to go through a few bits that I've received recently. If you watched an earlier video that I did, I showed the, uh, where is it, the yarn guide, I haven't got it here with me, and I said that I'd bought a different variety, so this is the other one, and uh, this is by Prim. Yeah, Prim Knitting Thimble, it calls this. Uh, so there's no instructions. <laughs> I guess it's self-explanatory. You stick it on your finger, you put your yarn through it and it uh, keeps it nice and neat. Now, I've been using the other one and I found it quite good. Uh, this, I'm not sure how it lifts up, alright okay, so it's like a little gate. Uh, this feels on the sort of initial putting it on my finger, feels like maybe it's a better fit. It's probably an even better fit on that finger. Maybe a bit loose, actually. But I use this finger to guide my yarn, mostly. Um, I'm not sure, though, with it being a big lump of plastic on the end of my finger, how it's actually going to feel when I'm using it. But I shall let you know. Now I've got this one, I'll try them both and I'll uh, let you know how I sort of get on with both of them. So that's that. That was from Amazon. I don't need the packaging, do I? Get rid of that. Okay, so so, the next thing was I got a lot of different sizes of brooch backs. Uh, I'll get one out so you can see what they're like. I'll get some out. So there's all different sizes. I didn't need this many. There's a hundred pieces and the sizes are 20 millimeter, 25 millimeter, 32 millimeter and 38 millimeter and they've got little holes on the back so you can stitch them or fix them to the item. And they've got little safety mechanisms so that you can close the pin and secure it so the item doesn't fall off. And I got these because I thought I'd like to do maybe crochet some poppies. So it was recently Remembrance Day in the UK and I showed you the poppy that I did in fact crochet using the pattern from Derham World. I don't know what happens around the world, but in the UK on the 11th of November, uh, we have what's called Remembrance Day, which is when we remember all the people uh, and also animals or anybody involved in any wars that have happened. Uh, it's our day to remember them that's why it's called remembrance day and we use a poppy as a symbol of remembrance and that's based on the fact that poppies grew in the fields in france where uh, 
a lot of the fighting took place in the trenches during the world war uh, during the world wars so um yeah i thought i might like to try crocheting some poppies and obviously i need some brooch backs to attach to them so that's why i got those and there's quite a lot for, for not very much money i'll put how much they were on the screen and there we go. I also got these quite difficult to come by in the UK I had to wait for them to come from the US uh, these are Susan Bates finishing needles and I thought they'd be quite useful because they've got a wide opening which you can stretch open so I've got some yarn here it's not particularly thick yarn um, but we can use it to try Ooh. Uh, it does have the different yarn weights on the bottom actually if you can see I uh, don't know if it'll focus it's not the best at focusing my camera uh, but we start with a zero weight yarn one weight two weight three weight four weight five weight six weight although there's only five needles and there's seven weights so they are colour coded so the yellow needle is for weights 0 and 1 the pale blue needle is for 2 weight the darker colour needle is for 3 and 4 the red is for 5 and the 6 is for uh, the pink is for 6 weight so that's quite handy uh, however uh, it's now ripped so I haven't got it as reference and you can just I guess see which needle fits the yarn that you use in best at the time let's get these out so that is really tiny <laughs> uh, but as you can see they do open really wide uh, so I think this is maybe a two so that would be this one so we don't even have to worry about trying to thread it it's just e as easy as opening it and placing it through and then sew in uh, I don't have anything with ends to sew in unfortunately uh, but they look interesting and I thought I'd like to give them a go so I got them there's five different sizes so that's those again I'll put the price on screen now, I have to be careful not to lose these hmm Okay, let's get rid of the rubbish bin for the plastic, unfortunately. Recycle for the cardboard. Okay. And the last thing I wanted to show you is diamond painting related. And there's a lady in a Facebook group that I'm in who uh was dissatisfied with the pink wax that comes the standard pink wax that comes with diamond paintings and she tried all different kinds uh but she decided in the end that she was going to try making her own and this is the result you don't have to get them in tins she does do them in little blocks but I decided to get them in the tins to try and keep the moisture in 
and she does them in different smells. So that's white musk and it does indeed smell of white musk. Dragon's blood. Oh, that's nice. Parma violets. She had a whole list of colours. Oh, wow. That really... That makes me want to eat that. <laughs> Smells like those Parma violet sweets from Swizzles. And Dewberry. I love Dewberry. Gorgeous. Uh, so... I thought I would give those a go. I've got a painting that I'm due to start. Uh, so I'll need to dig out. Oops. I'll be using this pen. I'll need to dig out the old wax. See if I can do that. I've been using this wax from recent pictures. Uh, uh, let's see if I can dig out the old wax. Uh, not the nicest thing to do. <laughs> and then... Uh, yuck. That's not got all of it. don't really often dig out wax <laughs> out of the pens. I think... Oh, there's still a bit left. Might need a narrower pokey thing. This is quite a thick darning needle. Oh, got a bit more out then. <sighs> Last little bit. So I will pick a fragrance and use that until I'm fed up with it and I want something different. The uh, good thing about them is they're in tins, so I think that's about empty. Um, yeah, the good thing is they're in tins, so they're going to keep... Oh, that matches my nail varnish, look at that! <laughs> um, what should I do first? Let's have a look. I think I might go with Dewberry first. Not quite a match to my nails. So she said you can scrape across the top. Uh, yeah, that's filled it up. Oh my God, this will last forever. So there we go, I'll leave that one out because I'm using that one, but the rest of this lot can go away in storage. So those were £2 for the tinned version, uh, I'll put the prices up and I'll get her contact details in case anybody wants to give them a go, uh, but I will be using these going forward to see how they are. So those are my few unboxings for today, or show and tells, because I didn't unbox them all on screen. Uh, thanks very much for joining me. I hope it was of interest. If you haven't already, please do click subscribe and ring the bell so that you're notified when I do future videos. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. It really is appreciated that you're supporting the channel. I hope to see you next time. Thanks very much again for being here, for lending your support, for giving me your time. And I'll see you next time.
bye